Want a blessed day, glorify the Lord, and welcome to a Healy's Talk Show. Vivid view. Say and do it. Consciously make your attitude work for you. Say something, somebody. My name is Ogene Sume. Consciously make your attitude work for you. It means I have to be intentional about my actions, thoughts, words, in a way that it will generate desirable results in all my endeavors. And it's also about maximizing my strengths and uniqueness. My name is Samuel Endurance. Consciously make your attitude work for you. On the process of making your life better, it is vital to think positive or negative aspect before you act so you don't cause harm to yourself or to the environment. Thank you so much for your contributions. Consciously make your attitude work for you. For me, and God created tools in tools, good and bad, success and failure and all that. And so, attitude can do two things for you. Attitude can open doors for you. Attitude can also close doors for you. Sometimes you use attitude and character interwoven. But I was talking about attitude here. If you have good attitude, always ensure that you do the right thing. Because that's the only thing that can open way for you. It can also close the door for you because of your attitude. Many people have lost favor from people because of their bad attitude. And guess what? They know that they have bad attitude. Oh, sometimes something will happen. They say, oh, my bad character has just denied me this. So, so why would such person make such statement if he does not know that he or she actually has bad character? So good character at every time is very, very good. And that is what I encourage you to do. That's why I say consciously make your attitude work for you. In all, in all ramifications, there are many people that even want to go and learn skill or somewhere. They don't really have money to pay for it. You know, sometimes you pay before you start. But the attitude of such a person, the, the, the master or whoever will say, come, after some time you can pay. It's because of attitude. Attitude also starts from greetings, character. That's why I say can open way for you. You pass somebody 10 times, greet the person 10 times, say, sir, in this modern world now we are in now, most times they say we are in the 21st century. I say 21st century is in badness. We have lost about our, our morals. We lost everything that, that our values. You go into the 21st century, you see your father, your old man, you, you kick him out and walk to the 21st century. And nobody has able to answer that question, what is actually madness? The 21st century is not madness. So attitude, conscious like anywhere you are, as a youth growing up, make sure you behave properly. You conduct yourself properly outside, because it will open the door for you. If you also behave negatively, it will shut the door for you. Okay. The topic for discussion today is youth empowerment via skills acquisition. We shall go for a short break, and when we come back, the guests will be introduced. Vivid view, say and do it. What gives birth to relationship first is love. Somebody lost his wife, not his first wife. The next question is, why did his first wife die and the second wife die? We don't even, we have no emotional balance, no emotional control. Ladies will say, I don't like this man. Why don't you like him? He doesn't beat me. Because my father used to beat my mother. In Nigeria, we have about 2.2 million people living with disabilities. Wonderful. We have the adults who are going through so much stress today and they can't even have their head up in the society. You that is bad, you are hitting your wife all the time. Stop beating. Don't turn your wife to punch him back. Join us every Sunday on Vivid View with the Yilis. You see me, they wear native. It is a planner. It's in a fashion. Any work they do, they enter. Top price. <laughs> Welcome back. In case you're just joining us now, the topic is youth empowerment via skills acquisition. And with me in the studio is a human resource and management uh, consultant. Let's make welcome Amara Ugochuku. Vivid view. Say and do it. 
Before discussion, please follow us our social media handles are displayed on the screen. You're welcome again, Amara. Thank you. Okay, so let's have your introduction, definition, and perspective for the subject matter. Okay, so today we are discussing um, youth empowerment via skill acquisition. Yeah. So what is skill acquisition? It's just a process of learning, developing new abilities and competencies. Abilities and competencies are the things that make you able to do things, right? And it happens on three levels. First, you have the level where you get the um, theoretical knowledge of what it is that you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the middle level where you begin to practice. Mm -hmm. Practical, yeah. You make your mistakes, you get <laughs> feedback, of you correct yourself, you keep learning, and then you keep getting better right yeah and then you get to the autonomous stage where you become you you gain mastery of whatever it is that you're doing you're already you a master. mastery yeah and <laughs> at that level it comes to you naturally you just do it even without thinking take driving for example when you start driving initially they show you this is the gear this is the steering <laughs> this is what it does and blah 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 and then you start driving the first time you are holding your steering like you know you can't let go <laughs> you are scared and everything but over time, you begin to drive without thinking. You can be gisting and be doing so many things. Even when you do one hand. Even you do one right? hand. Right? No. Okay, so that's how <laughs> it happens. And then uh, we have two approaches to skill acquisition. Mm. Yeah. So you can gain it through education, like a formal education, you mm. know, go to school, learn to be a marketer, learn to be a doctor, learn to be a medical doctor, and mm. stuff like that. But then there's also the vocational path yeah. where you you go through an apprenticeship right and you just learn from someone who already knows how to do a particular thing mm -hmm. that you want to do so sometimes you serve the person over a period and you learn or you pay to be taught exactly okay so now youth empowerment why do we need for the youth to be empowered you know, we keep saying the youth are the leaders of, leaders of tomorrow. And I tell people, no, wrong. You are even the <laughs> leaders of now. Yes. You are leading right now, now, wherever you are. Whatever you are doing, the only thing is that you could be leading negatively or positively, <laughs> but you are leading. So take it. Whether you know it or not, you are leading already. Right? So, but you need to be empowered so that you can have a voice. Because if you are not empowered, you are, you are voiceless. Nobody knows you. Nobody wants to know you right mm -hmm. and what it is that what is it that makes you empowered value that's why we are talking skill acquisition sure. because when you have skills then you have value and when you have value you are able to add value to the people around you then mm -hmm. you attract something what do you attract wealth because money you know a lot of youth today are obsessed with the idea of being rich mm -hmm. and they want to do it by all means no no but no, hey, no money answers to value money is just paper yeah, right course, yeah. what makes it valuable is the thing that you do to get that money and that's why when people do things that when you when you, when you commit crime to be rich it's not sustainable it's not sustainable so you need to acquire a skill you need to learn to do something right and learn it well to the point where somebody is able to pay for it learn it well to the point where somebody is able to consistently pay you for that thing you are doing wow. then you can say you have a skill right thank you so thank much you. for that uh, brief introduction so what are the factors that are first skills acquisition number one is interest motivation I, I mean, human resources, I've been in that field for over 18 years. So I do a lot of hiring. Almost two decades now. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times I see people who would say, I'm looking for a job. What kind mm. of job are you looking for? They'll say any job. And I, first of all, take them. They're not some, fully decided. For some counseling <laughs> and for some guidance. Because I know that you cannot just want any job. There must I be wonder. something exactly. that you want to do. So it starts with what do you want to do? Your interest, your motivation, and mm. sometimes it's linked to your natural gifting. Yeah. In fact, the closer you yeah. are to your natural gifting and passion, yeah. the closer you are to success. Right. Because you will struggle. <laughs> Thank you. You will struggle if you go and double into an area that is not that you don't have natural gifting for. You know, you will be thinking, oh, my friend is doing this. I want to do. Oh, they said it's this one that is working, and mm. you jump in there. Mm. And you may not it may not work so interest motivation and very, then very key. yes and then 
you have to um, look at the environment where you are. Okay, because there are certain things that work in certain environments. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. you're going to do something that doesn't work in a particular environment, nobody will pay for it. Exactly. Nobody will pay you for that skill. It will be like a waste of your time. Then you have to have the patience to go through training, right? And then practice. And then also be um, have the attitude, like we were talking about attitude yeah, this morning. Yeah. Have a good attitude nice. for feedback. When you do something and somebody says, oh, what's this rubbish that you did? Don't let that discourage you. Just ask the person that, okay, which areas do I need to improve exactly. on? And then go and improve and keep getting better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know that sometimes people also talk about, oh, I don't have money to go to school and I don't have money to learn a trade. I don't have money. I don't have anyone to teach me. Mm. Hey, what do you want to do first? Determine, you know, there's this saying that when you determine what you want to do mm. and you focus on it, they say the universe itself mm. has a way of providing resources for you and we are people of faith i mean for those of us who are people of faith we know that that universe that they're talking about is a god somewhere that 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 listens to what you're saying okay so when you want to learn a skill don't let money be the first thing money if you keep saying i don't have money i don't have money it blocks your creativity it blocks your thinking right so because there will always be someone who is willing to sponsor what you want to do exactly. there are bodies today and that's why i'm so excited about what we're doing at vivid view right Thank because you. there are bodies like that who are that are willing that even provide opportunities free opportunities for skill acquisition yeah. that you just need to come and learn yeah. there are loads of churches and other organizations that are doing things like yeah. that but if you're not thinking i want to do this thing and i want to do it you will be thinking, I don't have money. Then, then you relax. Mm -hmm. But if you're thinking, I want to do this, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, so if you're determined to do it, you'll start asking questions. You'll start researching. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you'll find someone who will tell you about someone, about someone, mm -hmm. about I'm a so, place, yes. you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you find what you're looking for. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Amara. Just to add to what uh, that explanation mm -hmm. you just make now, there's also what we call tight, T I T E. And it means the first word is training, T. Hmm. Interest, temperament, and then experience. So these are things hmm. also put when you want to acquire skill. Uh, hmm. That you just mentioned now, that you ask somebody, what do you want to do? Is anything? Anything, it's just vague. Hmm. Even my husband used to tell us, uh, that's what you teach our children. So if you visit somebody and somebody says, what do you want to take, for example? Don't just say, give me anything. No, hmm. be specific. And so before you go and learn, if you have this in, in place, hmm. You have your, your, your training, you have interest, and you have temperament, and then experience. These are the way you're learning. And it's so when you learn this one that these ones will come up. So the first one here, just for it to, to synchronize, the first one church will actually be interest, yes. actually. But if I first mention interest, it will scatter. You understand what I mean? So that interest must be there, and passion. Mm. And then you know, you know exactly what you want to do. Do not emulate your A or B because you may not have the same interest. Exactly. Don't say because you work for A, it's surely going to work for mm -hmm. me. Like she, she said, you'll be stuck in the middle. No yeah. going forward, no going backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, but when you do something that you have passion, you have interest, see, you put some smile in your face, do it, learning it, without looking at somebody, and anybody go to mock, mock, laugh mm -hmm. me or no. If I ask you, if I ask you any of you now to go and learn mechanic, and this is what we call a mechanic, mm. how to repair uh, uh, vehicle, you say no, it's a dirty job. Mm. But come and see if you do it well, you make money, you speak well. That's your speaking. Yeah, that's true. So a word is enough for the wise. We'll continue. Yeah. We we'll take a break now. Let me view. See and do, do it. it. Welcome back. We are still discussing youth empowerment via skills acquisition. And I take me now to the third one because we want okay. to discuss so that people okay. understand what we're saying. There could be some challenges with skills acquisition. Yeah. And what can hinder it? First of all, um, apart from the things that the hindrances can come from two two sources, yeah, right? Two ways, yeah. Within and without. <laughs> Your the hindrance from within are things you have control over because yes. like we've been saying you could you could just be lazy you could just be there wanting to be rich without doing any work right so you have mm. to deal with that 
have the right attitude towards wealth and mm -hmm. know that wealth only comes by adding value. Yes. And then be determined and about what you want too. to do. Exactly. Yeah. Then let's now talk about the hindrances from without, mm -hmm. which have to do with your environment, your background, Those are external, you know, yeah. things that are external to you that you mm -hmm. feel quote and unquote like you don't have control over. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um somebody will say, Oh, I don't have money, my parents can't afford it. The environment is not enabling. Oh, I've learned how to do this, but there's no light. My business is not is struggling yeah, exactly. and all of those kind of things. So there needs to be an enabling environment for you to thrive, mm -hmm. right? Which I know that a lot of us don't have right now, but you can find a way around it. Okay. Now, also, there needs to be, um, there ne you need to have uh, people who will patronize what you're doing, who, who, who will patronize your skills. So there needs to be a market for your skill, right? That's why I talked about the environment where you are. So you need to go look for where the people that need what you're offering are, mm -hmm. right? The other hindrances will have to do with, um, with maybe regulations, you know, which still, yeah. have, which still has to do with environment. But, yeah. but the truth is, when you are determined about anything, you will stop at nothing. Yeah. Okay, because as difficult as it is to do business in Nigeria today, people are still doing businesses exactly. legitimately. Yeah. And they are thriving in it, and they are making money. Mm -hmm. So the question you should ask yourself will be to stop seeing the ones that are not making it. Okay, and see the ones that are making it because what you see is, is what you get, and you see what you want to see. So if, if people are saying, "Oh, They're Nigeria being is not working," at all times. Yeah. yeah, Nigeria is not working, but there are people that are legitimately making money in Nigeria. So you should ask yourself the questions: Where do I find those ones, and how do I become one of them? Yeah, exactly. Right, and then you can overcome those obstacles. Just want to mention, um, I, I, I brought a girl some, some time and she said, nothing's happening, nothing's working in Nigeria. I said, no, my sister, I disagree with you. Something is working in Nigeria. That's why you. yourself and myself, we're still here. Yeah. But we have not gotten to where we're at uh, mm -hmm. expectation. We expect 100% mm -hmm. more than where we are mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I agree on that. Mm -hmm. But that not, nothing is working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So something is working, as we just yeah. said now. Find where, be positive. Mm -hmm. Don't do, draw your leg back. Only look at the, the people that fail. Look at the failures. No. Look at those that succeeded. Exactly. I, I even went ahead. When I, before I got married, I told, my, I told myself and my God, my prayer, I said, God, if I marry, I want to make, celebrate 50 years marriage anniversary. Wow. The meaning is that I'm not, I don't want to look at those who have failed. Mm. I know they are around me now. There are many. Mm. In my family will have them. Mm. Mm. But as a young girl, mm. I said it to myself. And by the special grace of God, mm. and I say God again, give me my own husband, not somebody else's husband. Mm. I've done 36. Wow. Man, I from, from 50. Wow. 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 So you need to be positive. That's why, why I brought this. If you're not positive in your life, you'll just be moved, be tossing like a, you know, like shaft. Yeah. Breeze will carry you here and there. Mm. So be positive. And you you really make it. Look at those who have succeeded. Mm -hmm. Don't look at those who have failed. I say, as you are in marriage, don't look at marriage that have failed. Look at marriage that have succeeded exactly. too. And then God will help you, prayers and commitment to, to whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. You'll see that, that uh, you, you stay true. Mm -hmm. All right, that's okay. Thank you. So how can we empower our youths in, their, in this skill acquisition we're talking about? How can we now do that? Great. I know you're you mentioned going to school and all that. Yeah, but yes, great. So... Mm -hmm. Um, what we're doing here today is empowerment yeah. because, because <laughs> I believe that the, the greatest empowerment is knowledge, yeah. information. That's yeah. what frees your mind, mm -hmm. right? To think globally, to see yourself as a global person, even though you are in Lagos, Nigeria, and you, are, you don't even have an international passport, right? So how do we empower you? We empower you, like I said, with information. We also empower you with opportunities to train for skill. Like I know places that offer free skill acquisition programs for young people, right? And all you need to do is follow certain routes and you get there. So again, information is power. If you don't know, you suffer for not knowing, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so, and it could be anything. It could be graphic design, it could be bead making, it could yes. be confectionery, it could be yes. uh, dressmaking. Mm -hmm. Now we don't call it dressmaking again, it's fashion and designing, <laughs> right? So it could now be anything. Make up and all those stuff. design, yes. And these opportunities are available. They are available. You just need to ask questions and then 
you get there. I, 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 and I know that the government is also doing um, some things, you know. Um, I, I hear about programs where um, they do one or two things to empower yes, people yes, to yes. trade, mm -hmm. you know, give them some funds and all that. You know, I'm sure that if you ask questions too, you will get the details about how to um, quali or apply for mm. places like that. But if not, if they Google, use their phone to Google, you can exactly. also get it. They, I mean, it, 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 if yeah. you have a phone and you have yeah. internet, yes. right? If you have a smartphone and you have and your phone has, in, you have access to the internet. See, you have access to the world. Not there is nothing you cannot find out. Yes. But I, I, but I think that what happens a lot is mm. that our young people they focus on. They are distracted, oh, right? Honestly. So you are busy watching other people's videos mm. that are making money. I and mean, there's nothing of wrong yourself. with nothing watching wrong with that anyway. To, to laugh and be happy. Yeah. You understand? Uh -huh. But you, you don't make that your job, right? Because exactly. this person you are watching is busy it's making busy, money. Yeah, exactly. That is their own skill that they are putting out there. So you shouldn't make it your job. Spend two hours watching videos, and at the end of the day, what what have you done with your time? Time is an invaluable resource. You don't get it back when you spend it. You've spent it. You don't get it back. Burning. So my biggest advice, you know, about empowerment will be get knowledge, get information. Mm -hmm. It's not money. Money is not the first thing. Yeah. Get knowledge, money is get information. Yeah. Then you will be there. Thank you. Get knowledge and get information before yeah. money. Money is secondary. Money is actually secondary. Mm -hmm. So some people don't tell you, I don't have money. I don't have nobody to support and me. They no. Shut down. And they, they really shut down. Yeah. They just remain at home. Now nothing is working. I beg, something is working. So. Maybe we help ourselves. Now, how does key acquisition improve our economy? Hmm. So, That's a good one. <laughs> very good one. Because you see, research has shown us that more than 60% of, of, of our population are in the age range of... Um, of um, like 20 to 39, mm. meaning that we have more youth. Yes, of and course. that's a blessing, yes. right? Because the youth have the energy, they have the, you know, they have the stamina to do things, they have the creativity and all. So if we empower them, then they are able, they are more productive. Of course. Then their productivity adds to, to economic growth, mm -hmm. it adds our, to our, to our national development. Yeah, yeah. Then they also create jobs because if somebody has a skill, and instead of looking for a job, you're able to create a business. That business in, in one or two years will be, em will be empowering somebody else because yes. you'll hire, you'll have, you have staff. And before you know it, you're helping to reduce unemployment. Mm. You are helping to reduce crime rates exactly. because some youth go into crime because they genuinely, they feel they genuinely don't have a choice, mm. right? They feel. Not that it's correct, but they feel they genuinely don't have a choice and it, there's nothing to do, so they, they opt for crime. But if somebody has offered them a job, if another youth has, has, has inspired them by saying, guy, I'm like you, two years ago, I was nowhere, but today, this is what I'm doing because of this skill that I acquired. You can inspire the person to, you know, to drop whatever negative ideas they have mm -hmm. and move on. You have made us to have one less criminal. <laughs> right, right, yes, and, you are, and, and you are helping the the the, um, the security of the of the of the nation. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that you can do to add to national development mm -hmm. by just empowering yourselves first. Because somebody who is not empowered cannot empower anybody. Of course, you can't when do what you, you don't empower, have. Exactly, but you, when you are empowered, then you can empower others and others. you help to build the, the nation. So there's really a lot we can do to improve our economy. You mm -hmm. pay taxes because when you're empowered, you yeah. then things are coming out. You pay tax, you pay staff and all that. As you pay your staff, staff also pay tax and mm -hmm. all. They also use all together, put together to develop and create inf infrastructures and all and amenities. That's what it's supposed to be. Although sometimes we'll be questioning the tax we are paying, whether they are actually using it for all. But that is what it ought to I have been. Be when we pay our tax, they use it to provide infrastructures, amenities and all for us. Mm -hmm. To, you know, to feel good and, and be happy that we are from this nation. It's not for a particular person to put in his you know, in his pocket. That's not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So you can see that if you have this skill uh, acquisition, you will also contribute to the, to the nation. Mm -hmm. And you will also be happy that I'm also a part yes. of what is happening around us. So try. Those of you who think that uh, there's no other thing you can do than to enter into crime, that is wrong. Mm -hmm. That suggestion is from the pit of hell. Yeah. The hardship in the country is not peculiar to you alone. Mm -hmm. It affects everybody. So if everybody enters crime, what, what, what's we'll going to be? The nation. So so yeah. it's, it's not, it's, you're not right. Whether you have job, don't have job, it's not enough for you to enter into crime. Struggle like others are struggling. 